Hey, a pleasant, fantastic evening, everybody, as our Flyers go up three games to run in this series. Big game for Carter Hart. He was marvelous again. Fantastic game by Nate Thompson for the lineup. Marvelous game by Connor Bunneman. As I'm Joe Boric here for my next video on the Flyers Nitty Gritty team, and we'll get into more detail. Now, Carter Hart, like I said, was marvelous again in this game. The guys played brilliant in front of him. It was a great overall team win. I mean, this game was just a marvelous overall game played. I love what I saw from the boys tonight defensively. I would say, obviously, you have to have Carter Hart again as a star of this game. <clears throat> I mean, the kid is just a beast out there. I mean, you know what you're getting from him every single night. Tonight, he made on the box score 29 for 29. Got two straight shutouts. I mean, what else can you ask for from a guy that's 22 years old? The kid is playing like a beast. He's playing like an absolute monster right now. And, I mean, he's the first guy to get two consecutive shutouts in the Flyers, or for the Flyers in the playoffs, excuse me, since Bernie Perrant did it, and also Michael Layton. So those are two interesting name combinations there to add Carter Hart as now the third. So that is fantastic to see. Love to see it. It was a suffocating performance by this Flyers team. They kept this team so far to the outside, like Al Morgani joked about in his one quote, uh, in his one tweet, excuse me. If they got any more to the outside, the Canadians would have gotten in trouble for being outside the bubble. The Flyers played tenacious defense tonight. They played great on defense. I loved what I saw from Raffle. That was an absolutely sick shot. Absolutely amazing shot into the net. And then with Myers, Myers has been playing some great, phenomenal hockey all season and continuing throughout until now, other than maybe the second game of the series. But everybody, that was a wash. That just game was a wash for everybody. But Myers has been fantastic, and sometimes you just got to throw the puck on net and things happen, and that's what happened there. That was marvelous to see. We got another goal. Carter Hart played fantastic. And, I mean, oh, by the way, for those years, Bernie Perron's back-to-back -back shutouts was in 75 and Layden's was in 2010, just for anybody that was wondering. But how about that? He out Carey Price on Carey's birthday. Then he out him again in this game. I mean, there's not much Price could have done about the first goal, but the second goal was one he knows you'd probably like to have back. But, again, I think the little guys play great. We need to see more scoring from our upper line. As A.V. even said in the press conference, basically, when we're not playing the best hockey, Hart saves us and makes big save for us, and the defense came up big in front of him, paraphrasing, but... I think the little guys continue to play well. We couldn't have Knack in this game, so we put in um, Bunneman, and we obviously also kept Nate Thompson in, and we kept Derek Grant in, and then we put Joel Faraby back in when one of those two in Thompson and Grant would have been out if Nicholas Albe kubel was able to go. And Nate Thompson played a hell of a game. He blocked Weber's shot. Of course, Robert Hag had a huge block on Shea Weber as well, which was an absolute tenacious block. And A.V., as Jason Martita said in his one tweet, is rolling four lines and putting the stranglehold on every Canadian's rush for great back pressure and D-zone coverage. That is the perfect way to sum up today's game. We had great back pressure and D-zone coverage. We need to get our offense going a little bit more short, but I think we played so good on defense. Defense, like Jamie said, on Twitter as well. That's what wins games. Yeah, we didn't play the sexiest game overall, or especially the sexiest second period, but defense is what wins games, and also in this game, we had everything but the finish. I know I saw Jamie tweet that out the one time as well. Everything but the finish on the one power play, and we had that on a couple power plays today. We had some good chances, so we're looking better there. We just couldn't get the finish. I believe that's going to continue to build and get better on the power play as we continue to grow. Obviously, I believe Carter Hart's going to continue to look like an absolute tank. The kid's been on fire in these playoffs. There's absolutely no reason to believe that's not going to continue. I mean, the guy is on another level. He's like what Carey Price was when he came into the playoffs, or what Jonathan Quick was when he came into the playoffs as a youngster. Name any other insert good young goalie that stepped in at a young age there for Carter Hart. He's doing exactly what those guys did. And, I mean, this is just a great team win. We played great, tenacious defense. Niski played solid again. I loved what I saw overall from our team. We got good play overall. We got a 
decent amount of hits. They had more hits than us, but we had those more big hits in the neutral zone. We didn't allow Kakaniemi to get anything going, who was big in some of the other games, including in our one nothing victory last game, getting some chances. We really shut him down, putting in the more defensive lineup of keeping Thompson in, keeping Grant in, who played his best game by far tonight, and also by obviously putting in Connor Bunneman, who's more defensive-oriented, and we know Fairby has a great 200-foot game, and Raffle being back immensely helps our 200-foot game. So that was huge to see. Michael Raffle had two hits on the day to go along and two blocks with his goal. So he just played a phenomenal game overall. And also, Robert Hag had three hits and two blocks. Again, he's just been playing phenomenal since being inserted into the lineup. Lots actually played bounced back today had a couple turnovers early and looked off early in the game but he played a good game overall was more physical looked better uh he played a solid game probably be the best way to put it and Connor Bunneman I mean whenever we put this kid in the lineup he seems to just do pretty good in about the 10 minutes of ice time we give him and I'm just always impressed with him I just love what I see from him but my stars of today's game would have to be, I mean, I loved how Philippe Myers has continued to look. I would say him, obviously Carter Hart, and obviously Michael Roffel, but in order to give one, it's not the goalie, because I feel like he's becoming a constant at this point. I'll give my third star, I think, um... He was huge in the face-off dot, he played a pretty good game, obviously, he set up, he had a plus-minus of one, he had one point on the assist there for the one goal, in Sean Couturier, I believe Couturier who had an assist on Raffle's goal along with Jake the Snake Voracek, and then for Myers' goal was to connect me and Hayes with the assist. I'm going to give it to Cooch. I think he played a great defensive game, obviously. He was great in the faceoff dot again, just doing what he has to do. So Cooch would be my other star in order to give three people that are not the goaltender. But let's go, baby. We'll go, have a chance to go into tomorrow. We're up three games to one. Game is at 8 o'clock tomorrow. We have a chance to clinch this series with, I would believe, it would still be Bill, who's been great on the call. I love Billy Clement. So JJ and Bill Clement on the call, I would believe, will be tomorrow at 8. That's going to be fantastic to see. I believe we're riding high with the momentum, playing great defense. I believe Carter Hart should go back-to-back. -back. In my opinion, just ride the hot hand here, because guess what? Win it tomorrow, we're done anyway and have a few days off. So he'll have plenty of rest, and I believe we have to go back-to-back -back with him. Unless if that hand's bothering him a little bit from that one save we saw, then maybe you want to be cautious there and go to Elliott. But other than that... I believe we should have Carter Hart go back-to-back, -back, and I believe we are going to clinch this series tomorrow. I think we're riding the momentum. I think Lawrence is going to continue to look good. I think Michael Raffle, who's been a man on a mission this playoff, is going to continue to look good. Raffle, when he's been in, has been great, and I mean, there's just not enough good things to say about Michael Raffle. Uh, this guy plays a great playoff for checking tenacious game he has three points in three games so he's been a points per game guy in only three games small sample size but has looked fantastic on the ice on defense and offense and i also think having if, if we can have knack back next game i think hopefully he'll be back by next series that will be huge adding him into already now having grant playing a solid overall game this game re-establishing himself on the ice for us was huge as well as nate thompson playing a absolutely amazing game for us. So I really like what I saw there, but I really do like what I saw from Grant stepping up and him being able to do stuff as well as Thompson. Let me know in the comment section. Also, if you like what you're listening on our Flies Nitty Gritty channel, please hit the bell, like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you think about this video. We've got a great 2-0 vi victory off the back of Carter Hart and our fantastic, tenacious defense that kept the Montreal Canadiens offense, especially Kakaniemi, Domi, and their other big scorers at bay, and that was huge to see. I believe that's going to continue next game, and I also believe we're going to see some guys at top lines get going next game as well, which we still haven't seen yet, unless if we're just going to continue to play this unsexy version of hockey because it worked, like Jamie said, defense wins game, to beat Montreal, and then we go back to the more nice to watch on TV as people would say, sexy version of hockey after that. But this has been a reaction to the Flyers 2 0 win. I believe we're going to clinch this series tomorrow and get going to the next round and get going to bringing that cup back to Philadelphia by beating these Montreal Canadiens tomorrow. 
and moving on with this series. Have a great and safe, pleasant night, everybody. Let's go Flyers. Feel the shake anytime, anywhere. Peace out, everyone.